hey guys welcome to this video and in this video i am going to tell you about the 10 things that you need to change immediately after getting your samsung galaxy s8 and as you guys know that samsung galaxy s8 is full of features there are so many settings and so many customizations it can get overwhelming sometimes so here are 10 things that you need to change so that you can use your s8 more efficiently so let's get to it and the number one thing that i want to tell you about is the home launcher or the default launcher on this s8 so it's pretty simple you swipe up to go to the app drawer or you swipe down to go to the app drawer then you've got your search up top you can search your phone for apps files contacts and everything so this is universal search and then you have got your apps stuck inside but uh, there is something more to it so if you long press on it you can get to settings now in settings you have got some more options so you have home screen layout here so if we tap in here we get two more options so here you can set home and app screen so it will give you home screen and an app drawer so if i tap on home screen only and apply and if i go back now i have all my apps here on the home screens and there is no app drawer anymore so i've got search here if i swipe down i go to search if i swipe up i go to search so there is no app drawer anymore so there are some more settings you can set up home screen grid so you can go five by five you can go four by six and four by five then you can do the same for app screens grid so you can go to the app drawer and change it uh, between five by six and four by six if you like that and then we have got apps button so here you will get the apps button and uh, if i apply it and go back i'll get this app button now so if i tap it then i can go to the app drawer you can still do it the swipe up and swipe down way but you will get an apps button here as well and you can also hide apps and then simply go in here select the apps you want to hide and you know just hit apply and your apps will be hidden now there are some more settings in here we uh, can set these app icons on the top or at the bottom of the screen all we have to do is hit these icons at the top so if i hit this one the icons will shift to the top if i hit this one the icons will shift to the bottom of the screen now the second feature that i want to talk about is the screen resolution on this device so as you guys know that it comes with qhd screen resolution but out of the box it is set at full hd so you need to set it at QHD if you want the best performance out of this device so go in settings go in display and in display go in screen resolution and in here take it all the way up to WQHD plus so this will be the highest resolution of the screen apply it and then it will have the highest resolution for you uh, to run on this screen now the next thing that you need to change after getting your s8 is the setting up of blue light filter so you can do that from the notification shortcuts but long press on it to go to the settings and there we go and here you can turn it off or you can turn it on so once you have turned it on you can change the opacity of the blue light filter and you can also turn it on as scheduled so you can set it to sunset to sunrise or you can have a customized schedule here and set a start time and end time what it does is that it filters the blue light out of the display and um, you know helps you sleep better at night because it does not fire up the neurons in your brain and stuff like that and you know you can get a healthy sleep at night if you're using your device in your bed now let's talk about the next feature and that's the theme store on this device so samsung has done a great job with the theme store on uh, its samsung devices and it has really grown over time so uh, let's take a look at the theme store so we need to find it first and let's see where it is and there we go samsung themes let's put it on home screen and so there we go we have samsung themes so if we go in here here you will see some options so you can get your wallpapers you can get your themes here so these themes apply to the whole device so you know your apps will change the default apps will change color apps will change the notification shared will change and everything you can get your icons from here so icon packs are available and then one more interesting thing always on displays are available here as well so you have some uh, default options that I'm gonna talk about in a while but you can even download more always on displays from here to show up on your lock screen like this so uh, there you go it's coming up and that's always on display so you can download even more always on display options from the theme store now the next thing that I want to talk about is setting up a screen lock on your device so for that you need to go in settings and in settings 
you need to go in lock screen and security now here you have several options to set up a screen lock you have some pretty basic options here so you have swipe pattern pin and password and then you can choose none if you want that and then you have some biometrics so you can have face unlock you can have fingerprints unlock you can have iris scanner now let's talk about the always on display that i had mentioned earlier so go in settings and in settings go in lock screen and security and here you will see this option called always on display go in here and here you can choose between digital clock analog clock world clock calendar image and edge clock so you can choose between different types and once you go in there you can customize it further so you can choose different clock styles you can choose different colors and you can choose different backgrounds if you are into that and you can really uh, customize the always on displays if you want and then you can set it to show always you can set it to uh, show at a specific time so you can set the time here then you can also select what content you want to show whether you want to show home button and clock and information clock or information or just home button and then you have got some widgets here so uh, there you go and you can choose between these different widgets music controller today's schedule and next alarm so what it does is that if you are on your lock screen and always on display comes up double tap and it takes you to these widgets so you have your music control you have your calendar events and then you have your alarm on here so you can choose between these widgets as well let's talk about these edge panels a little bit so you have to swipe from the edge to launch these edge panels and you have got all these edge panels here and you can customize them you can download even more and you can have uh, a lot of edge panels here so let's go in settings and in settings you can see that you can have all these edge panels set up on the edge of the screen and then you can even download more edge panels if you want from the galaxy app store and there you go there are tons of edge panels available if you are a fan of edge panels they are um, you know handy in certain situations but not always you can have some more settings so go in handle settings now handle settings basically this uh, blue bar that you're seeing at the edge of the screen so you can put it at the right edge of the screen or at the left edge of the screen if you uh, want that and then you can change the size so you can increase and decrease the size and then you can change the transparency of this edge panel as well and then uh, you can set it to vibrate whenever you hit it or not so it's easier to identify if you have it the right spot or not so you can do that as well and then you can simply turn it off if you are not a fan of edge panels and you don't want to use it but you can customize it and it can come in really handy in certain situations like this uh, device maintenance uh, edge panel that I have here so you can take a look at your battery performance mode storage memory and device security and then simply tap this button to optimize everything on your device so we have heard a lot about Bixby and you can set it up all you have to do is swipe right from the left edge of the screen and you go directly into Bixby so here it's basically a card panel it's a card layout it shows you your news it shows you your um, weather and it shows you your schedule your alarms and everything it's like Google now but from Samsung so it, it is a bit different uh, obviously you need to set it up first so you will have to sign in with your Samsung account and then you can use Bixby VN to identify objects if you want that and then it will tell you more information about those objects and will let you buy from online stores and stuff like that and you can also turn it off so simply long press on the screen go left and turn it off and you will never have to bother about Bixby ever again and you can even launch Bixby with this special button that Samsung has added to this device so simply tap it and it will take you directly to Bixby now let's talk a little bit about the notification panel here at the top so we have got notification settings and notification uh, shortcuts here so you can uh, use these shortcuts and you can even edit these shortcuts so all you have to do is go in this three dot menu and you can reorder these shortcuts and then you can also uh, change their grid numbers so you can go 3x3, 4x3 and 5x3 and then you have some more settings for this brightness slider here so you can turn on and off the auto brightness from here and you can set it to show control on top or you can turn it off so what happens is that whenever you pull out the notification panel uh, now you see that there is no brightness controller here when I pull it further down then I see this brightness controller and that's how it is default out of the box but you can set it to show control on top so uh, now when I will slide it I will see the brightness controller 
out here and I don't have to slide it even further down to access it. The last setting that you need to set up after getting your S8 and that is this performance mode. So if I long press it, it will take me to the settings. So here right now, out of the box, it is at optimized which is recommended setting but you can set it to game and that enhances your gaming experience by making games run more smoothly you can set it to entertainment which uh, lets you enjoy music and videos with ultra high quality sound and enhanced images or you can set it to high performance uh, if you want to experience the highest quality display settings so you can set it uh, to any of these settings if that's how you want to use this device and you can even go to more settings and change the screen resolution video enhancer and game launcher you can turn these settings on and off so that's up to you in which mode you want to run this device and you can choose the appropriate performance mode from here and you can also do this uh, by simply tapping on this performance mode and you get all these options so you can select it right from the notification panel as well so that's about it guys those are all the settings that you need to change after getting your samsung galaxy s8 and if you still have any questions please let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next video guys till then take care bye bye